One evening in August 2020, on my last battery, and just after the sun had set, I captured this grainy footage. At first glance, this shark encounter would be routine. In fact, both are sharks I've filmed before. But on this evening, I noticed one appeared to be missing a pectoral fin. I filmed it for these brief moments before I lost it in the darkness. I've been searching for it since. For five months to be exact, this is the moment I found it. I caught a glimpse of the bright white fin moving below. Do you see it? I could barely see the shark's outline initially, but as I moved the drone closer, I was able to confirm that it was the shark I've been searching for. And from the darkness, the shark emerged. I photographed it closely to see the extent of the injuries. And as I followed it, I was able to capture this close interaction with the bird. But that interaction was not the only one. I noticed it kept being drawn to birds on the surface. And surprisingly, the birds never seemed to be bothered. They would fly away and simply return. In fact, some birds wouldn't even fly away. Notice how these birds dive into the water rather than fly. Part of my goal here is to simply observe the sharks in order to learn about them. Many of you ask me about sharks. In reality, I'm just filming them, and to be honest, I'm wondering just as much as you are, what could cause this type of injury? So to find out, I reached out to an authority on sharks, the Shark Lab at California State University, Long Beach. So I sent the team at the lab the footage and my photos. After reviewing it, Shark Lab Director Dr. Chris Lowe says the injury is a fishing line injury. He says the cartilage in the fin has been cut in a relatively straight line from the bottom. This has caused the fin to tip up when the shark swims. And because of the lift generated by the fin shape, the shark is now healing in that position. It is unlikely the fin will return to its normal state. Furthermore, an analysis of the footage indicates that the shark appears to swim just fine. Dr. Lowe goes on to tell me the injured fin means this shark may not be as capable as others in terms of taking large prey like seals and sea lions. So there is hope for this shark and I will continue to search for it. And I hopefully can get some confirmation that this shark will continue to adapt and survive. But my bigger hope is that images like this serve as a reminder of the human interference in the ocean that is our backyard in Southern California. If you enjoy the shark footage, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn about sharks, I've included some informative links in the description, as well as where you can get involved in protecting them.